In the previous video, we have seen that how to just write a simple MATLAB programming. Uh, MATLAB programming means just to uh, write some command and get the values. So today we'll see how to write a MATLAB program and save it for further use. So what to do? You go to your MATLAB uh, window and there you type, uh, click on the new script. So basically, all the programs are written here. As I have told in the previous video, this is basically used for the outputs only. So here we'll click on the new script. So what you see here in the new script now, one new window has been opened. So previously one command window was there, the workspace was there and now the editor window is here. Okay. So this you can also like uh, change this uh, visualization. So you can drag it here so that it will be here side by side and the workspace will be here. So it's your choice where you want to keep it. Now see once this pro editor is open, I can write all my programs here. So basically it's a good practice that you write your program with the three basic commands. One is CLC. I have told what is the work of CLC. It will clear the command window means it, it will make it clean. Okay. Then clear all. If any previous variable is there, then it will just, uh, you have to give semicolon everywhere. That's what you should remember. Okay. And then close all. So it should be general practice for writing any program. Why? Because it will just uh, uh, make sure that before you start the program, everything is clean and clear. There will be won't an ambiguity. Okay. Now let us take the variable here. So what we have done there, we'll just do it here. So x equals to let me take five and give a semicolon. Semicolon is important. Otherwise, it will unnecessarily display the value. Uh, that that is a problem. Okay. Now let me take y equals to let's say ten. So any random value I can take y equals to ten and we'll do the addition here. And in the programming, there is a good thing, a good practice that if you make everything written in the comment line, that means what this following line is going to do. For example, here if I write the following lines are for declaring the variables. Okay, so you can write. Now the problem here is so it will it will give you an error why error because this is not a command here so let me run this particular thing whatever i have written we'll see what is the error and uh, how to solve that now it is showing that you have to save it so save it with a name just uh, write uh, add just write a uh, fast program uh, remember while in, uh, give storing the any program don't give any space between if you are two words you want to use then give a underscore don't give you a space it will take a error okay okay now i'll uh, run this program so see here in command window it is showing that unrecognized function variable this this so it's not understanding what is this so if you want to write anything just give a percentage symbol then it will be a called as a command comment line okay in the comment line it won't execute this line it will just stay in the program to understand that what is happening in the below for uh, codes okay now if i run this so see now there is no error but there is no output also because i have not calculated anything or displayed anything but you can see in the workspace now there are two variables one is x one is y okay i saying about semicolon if i remove the semicolon and run the code again so you can run the code from display symbol here you can run it so if you see now it is displaying the value of x and y so if you need this just remove the semicolon or if you don't need this, you can let the hemicolon be there, it won't display it. Next, I'll write one more command, uh, comment line and here write addition program. So addition means I'll take z equals to let's say x plus y, simple and I'll give a semicolon. I want to give semicolon here, I want to only display the outputs, okay, nothing else. So here it will display it next if i write the same variables i want to use for subtraction then we'll write subtraction program okay below that i can write subtraction also let me take s for the subtraction that is equals to x minus y and sorry, s equals to x minus y sorry x minus y and give a semicolon enter 
next let's say you want to multiplication add multiplication and division also so you can uh, do that now if i run this code you can see now it is calculating the value of s is there value of z is there so it is calculating but it's not displaying so what i can do here in command window you can just type s and hit enter it will give you the value you can type z and hit enter it will give you the value or else in the program itself then you can write the outputs or I can write display the outputs okay so here I'll just write Z then hit enter then S okay so if I run the code now so it is displaying Z equal to 15 and S equals to minus 5 and you should notice that the previous whatever display was there it is not now in the command window but if I don't use the CLC I will make comment line that means it, this line will not be executed now if I run the code now so you can see here so z equals to 15 s equals to 15 then fast programming because that is the name of the program that we have given and then it is displaying so if I run it again so again it will display and still the previous programs are still there so for that using CLC is a very important thing otherwise if a long program is there then you won't be file uh, you won't be able to find sometime that which output is for which uh, program so it's a better practice every time you use the clc program okay now once you have saved this program where it is saved as i said it is saved in this particular drive or in this particular folder so you can see in the folder window also there is one uh, file dot uh, fast programming dot m is there so if i go to here in matlab you can see in this folder also the same folder you can see this program is there okay fine so now next is uh, every time we are not going to declare the variable from the function itself means in the program itself sometimes what i need so i need to get the variable from the user side okay so for that there is a basic function here so what it is it uses uh, let me write one more section here take input from the user means it will ask enter your value and then you will enter and it will give you the answer like this okay so uh, here let me delete this section now i don't need this so here x equals to the same variable is equals to whichever in which variable you want to store the data the user input just take that variable and here you write input okay input and in bracket you can write some message as a string and that is uh, let's say i'll write so here you can see if you uh, means automatically it will tell you the uh, means uh, the syntax of how to write so i'll just write this thing here enter enter the value for x and i will close the bracket now this is a string so you have to keep this in quotes okay now i'll just copy this one and for y also i need the same thing so for y i will write here y and here i'll change it to y so let's see now if i run this code and you have to give semicolon as well okay now if i run this code so what is happening it is asking enter the value of x here in the command window it will come now if i enter let's say 20 and hit enter press enter then it will ask the enter the value for y i'll let's say place 30 okay then it will tell me that z equals to 50 and s equals to 50 now the thing is in the program it is written that which one is sum and which one is difference you can know you know it but let's say you are giving this program to someone those are concerned about only the output let's say it's a calculator so how to know z is the sum is z is the sum and s is the subtract uh, subtraction so how to know that so for that instead of only displaying the value only we can write we can display message okay so for that the simple function is used that is called disp display display is a function and here you can write your message as the addition of the two numbers are close the bracket 
sorry first close this and then close the bracket colon and then again you write display which variable is the sum you know in the programming so that's why i'll write here z okay now let us see what is the output so here it is asking the value 5 plus 6 let me take so the addition of the two numbers are the addition of the two numbers are 11 okay sorry is is 11 and then it, nothing is displayed for the subtraction so what i can do i can just copy the same thing and instead of writing s i'll write the same thing but here the subtraction i'll write the message subtraction subtraction and which value i'll display here i'll display the s value here now if i run the program again so what output it will give me let's see so the addition of two number is 9 the subtraction of the two numbers is 3 so that's how you can write a simple program uh, now let us think that uh, um, the program is completed every time the matlab is not going to open so i'll just close this matlab okay so once you close the matlab then just uh, uh, go to this pc and then go to documents wherever it was stored there documents then go to matlab you will find the programming so double click on that it's it will be a m file always and you can see the symbol of this this matlab symbol will come in the program then you can understand that okay this is the correct file if you just double click that automatically the program will open in the matlab you don't have to open matlab and uh, find where it is so just double click on it now if i close